this is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. And today we're going to do a poppy that um, sized paper, sized shuan. Uh, I'm using vintage sized shuan from OAS. Um, OAS's glass shuan will work, cicada shuan will work. And so um, it's a shei style on size paper, which is not being taught or explained a lot. Sometimes on YouTube, you see people using them in this style, but no one ever explained to you how it's being used and what kind of paper they're using. So today I'm going to break the mystery for you. And um, I'm using the size paper and this is the finished work. Uh, I'm using two brushes. I will explain to you why I'm using this two brush. One is our large full moon. If you don't have it, you can use um, our lotus, uh, full lotus or super flow. The only thing is the reason I choose this brush is the bristle is harder, doesn't hold as much liquid. So what I want to do is like a very dry look. So if you on this particular paper you use on the wet look, uh, too wet a brush, you're going to have puddles. So after I finish, you almost have like a acrylic or oil look. And then I'm using the center for our pre happy dot versus hap you can if you can if you have used a happy dot, you can also use that. The, I prefer Happy Dot for beginners because it's shorter, so it's easier to control. The pre-Happy Dot is shorter. Yeah, the pre-Happy Dot is shorter. And then um, I have a Sakura White as my base and our very budget-friendly um, companion set. So I'm going to do the Sakura white into two sections. This is a little bit wetter and I'll add more water to it. And then I have the thick Sakura on this side and then I will use a little bit yellow to make it creamy, yellow, thick white. The other color you can see that I will use yellow, vermilion, red, and carmine. I will take it all from the palette. And then I'll make a dark red, which is interesting is that I'm going to use the red and purple. And black from the palette. Add additional red to it. Maybe a little karma. This is my center of the flower. So like I said, my, my brush is going to be pretty dry.
So this is a long brush and um, a little bit stiffer hair than your regular combination or, or um, wolf hair brush. So I'm loading the brush tip with this creamy white I have. And then I rinse the tip off and then I will load the yellow and blend. And then I will load the or, uh, vermilion. So I don't wet my brush that much just wet it enough so it can move so the secret is keep your dry uh brush dry almost um you will have like a um texture look You can see that the uh, there's a lot of glue in my brush. And then the great thing about this paper is that you can add additional stroke on the top of it. Um, so it looks more a texture look, uh, not like a unsized paper. So you paint it quite differently. And then I use pre-happy dog with um, a little white and with a little green here. And then soften up this green and white. A little bit vermilion. Because the green from the palette is pretty harsh. So then, I'm going to do the middle. So then I rinse this off, and then I'm using the thick yellow with um, Sakura white at the top. A little bit yellow, so it'll show up better. Okay, so that's my center. And then I load my brush. I don't um, wash it off. So I use yellow, um, vermilion, and red. And caramel. So I want you to notice how dry my brush is. So it's make sure that you are not having too much liquid. If you have too much liquid, then that's going to be puddled up because of the paper. So if you find you have liquid, puddle it up on the top, then that means your brush is too wet. And your, you know, so especially the, if you're using the combination brush like Superflow or Lotus, full lotus and then you need to be make sure that you are
So I can't emphasize enough, the brush is wet. Oh, I, I'm sorry, it's opposite, it's dry. So keep your brush really dry. All right, so then this is my first flower. The second flower is going to be darker. So I'm going to load the yellow with uh, no, the red. I can't say it right today. And with um, carmine and then tap a little bit my dark red. And Red, carmine, a little bit dark red and blend. Okay. And then I'm going to do, use the center, which is white with green with a little bit vermilion. And then rinse the green off and pick up the yellow with thick um, sequoia white. I don't use much the palette white in there because it's just not um, strong enough to show up. So then I'm going to use the top, which is red, carmine, blend, a little bit dark red here, and Okay, and then my pre-mixed dark red, which is purple, red, carmine, and black from the companion set. So then I'm going to use a little bit of dark red to accent. All right, and then I'm using my pre-happy dot on. So now you're going to like this brush because it's short and sturdy. So you use green with a little vermilion. For this step. So I'm having here, center of here. And, um, 
So this is from here. And it goes. Okay. And then go from here. So this paper is kind of forgiving, so you can go back just a little. All right, and then I finished my poppy for the day. So happy painting, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.